Dominic, uh, county final, uh, I suppose it's the day everybody looks forward to. How has the preparations been going from a management point of view? Um, at the moment they're going great. There's a few niggly injuries, a few key guys that they're trying to make sure that their their uh, their injuries clear up in time. And training wise, everything's going well. There's a good buzz there, but we can't ask for any more than that. The lads have trained well all year. Um, so like it's just another week of training. Only we've upped the ante a bit. They're now training for a county final to represent our county and the Ulster Club Championship. That's what we're aiming for. So look, at uh, the moment training's going well and preparations. Are going well, yeah. You spoke about the injuries. Is it unsettling, you know, or do you, do you have confidence in the fact that you were able to absorb the injuries in the semi final and still come through? In the semi final, definitely when the injuries took place, when Arm and Ricky went off, and then with Jack going off, it did unsettle us a lot. Um, in other matches, we were fit to bring guys off the bench, um, and we were never weakening on the team. On Saturday we weren't really weakening the team, but the intensity of the game and the importance of the game, the guys that come on were feeling that would be a bit more nervous. So we did absorb it at the end, but it did affect us. Yeah, it definitely affected us. Ricky spoke earlier to me there about the hurt of last year. Um, you've come in this year along with Noel and and you have put a management team together. What has changed, you know, in your view? What, what do you think you have done differently? Well, what we've done differently is, from the outset we come on, we met the committee and come on, and our objective was to get this club back into intermediate football. Um, far too many young fellas in this club and in this town are not getting enough Gaelic football because junior football there's only one team. So the objective was to get back into intermediate football and making sure that next season there's everybody's getting football. We never talked about the championship until we had the league secured. Um, then promotion was coming along with the league. So. What's the, I think the hurt of last year, it's 15 years since this club has won a championship and mm -hmm. incidentally it was against my own club and I was playing in it so I was in the losing side that day, it's 15 years, I've said to the guys that promotion to the, was for the club, the championship's for them, everybody wants to win a county medal so I think this is the year, these guys are ready this year to, to take that next step um, and the hurt of last year will only benefit them, absolutely, 100% and they know that. And I spoke to you before we came on camera there just about, you know, how convincing you were in the league. But when the questions were put to you in the championship, you were able to answer them. How, how, how much confidence does that give you? It gives us great confidence. We always knew, I think, at the start of the year, we were probably the only team, maybe outside Barry McGilligan, that really wanted to win the league. We wanted promotion. And a lot of teams were just playing league matches and some mm -hmm. occasions some didn't even turn up to play us. Um, but as the year progressed, the money moors, the, the Glacks and the McGilligans were closing the gap on us. They were they were getting closer. We knew they would get closer. We knew they would intensify their training for championship football. But we've always known we have to keep them at arm's length. And so far, McGilligan, yes, they give us a bit of a game. Glack, they give us a, a game. But we know money more that we've played in the league to now use a different beast, different animal, new management in place. Um, so we'll be facing a different money more team than we've played in the league all year and the Carlin Cup. Am I right in saying Connor Forrest is the only link with that team in 2003? I think Connor Forrest, maybe Mickey McVeigh, I'm not sure. Maybe a couple of guys. So, so not many and compared not, to Money Moore? Not many, no. Money Moore have won a junior championship recently. Mm -hmm. Our guys haven't won one. Most of them haven't got a county medal. Um, so it would be great like, to get them their first county medal and be part of it. Um, mentally, how much of a disadvantage is that? Or is it something you have talked about a lot? The fact that you know you just haven't got the medals? I think the hurt of last year is enough of a mental scar for them. They don't want to get through the torture they went through last year. And I've looked, looked at photographs from the press last year and the Lima Valley players lying in the pitch and disappointment. And you can see the tears and the hurt in their eyes. I don't think they want to get through that again. I think they know now this is probably our best chance and their best chance of getting a county medal because next year it's tougher up on the intermediate football. This is their best chance of getting a county medal for the foreseeable future. Who knows what lies down the road, but at the minute, um, this is their best chance and they know it. And very final point, Dominic, you spoke about your playing days, now the management. Um, a nerve-wracking game management, an interesting game, an exciting game. How do you enjoy it? I enjoy seeing and enjoying them young boys' faces. That's what gives me enjoyment. It's not easy being a manager of a team. Um, 
but the enjoyment, the rewards that we get out of seeing the excitement and, and, and the hugs and, and the high fives of these guys, there's such a great buzz. And the whole club's behind us, the committee, the chairman and, and vice chairman, everybody is 100% behind us. There's a, like no stone left on turn. It's not as if they say we're fighting on one hand with the players, another hand with a club. Everybody's rolling in the one direction and it's fantastic. We couldn't complain about anything at the moment. And the boys have bought into what the club's plans are and they are getting their just rewards, getting into a final. And I just hope we just go that next step and get that county medal. Because it would be the best feeling them guys I'll ever, ever experience getting that county medal. You know, because as you say, for all the preparation, for all the progress, I think you, this you, year, you still have to deliver. I think this year there's nobody. I don't think there'll be a junior team in Ulster. At definitely this county has put in the preparation we have from January this year. We've never missed a training. Every weekend we've been training every week. The guys have came flying back from England. You know, they're just... Everything's been through that, that this, this year. So the preparation, um, these guys deserve it. These guys definitely deserve it for the effort they've went to this year. And more importantly, going into intermediate football next year with a county championship in the bag would give us some great boost going to intermediate football next year. County championship.